This is all we do is gossip. We love to run our motherfucking mouths and talk about everybody else's motherfucking business, including ours. Which makes no sense to me. While there's certain people that is keeping their head straight and they focus on success, the masses are talking about them. Talking shit. And it bothers me. It bugs me out. That this goes on specifically in the black community. Oh, how we mimic white society. And it's crazy to me. Now we have men that are talking like as if they're fucking women. You got DJ Academics, The Breakfast Club. Niggas are talking about <laughs> other men fucking women. Who's fucking who? What that man got on? And it bugs me out. It bugs me out how we gossip. No, 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 no. We don't want to solve problems. We don't want to be problem solvers. We don't want to be peacemakers. We want to create chaos. We want to talk about pain, suffering, stress, depression, drugs, sex, violence at someone else's expense. And it bugs me out that there are no sincere people on this planet at least from where I can see. None. Everybody wants to talk about the trending topics. Did you hear about Matt Miller? You know he overdosed. And now you have pictures of him plastered up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You have motherfuckers that don't even, didn't even know him that's making videos about him on YouTube, trying to pull whatever information that they can get about Matt Miller and his death. You got motherfuckers crying, talking about how close they were to him and how great of a person he was. But while he was alive, where were you at? I mean, if you cared about him so much, why didn't you prevent him from overdosing? I mean, hell, I wasn't that much of a fan. The only time I really recall Matt Miller's work is when he did a video with Rhapsody. Back in the days, I think that was like 2011 or some shit. But back then, I even knew that that nigga had somewhat of a fucking drug problem. As a fan, how didn't you know? But all we want to do is gossip. Talk, 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 talk. Did you hear about that new Eminem album? You know, he dissed everybody. And it's crazy to me that he dissed certain black rappers and those certain black rappers that I'm not gonna name, they, in reply, said, Eminem is the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. I respect him. But had it been Jay-Z that dissed him, had it been Nas that dissed him, DMX that dissed him, you know what those black rappers would have said? Oh, he's old school. He's just bitter. He's irrelevant. He's this. He's that. But all of a sudden, you hush hush. 
And it's crazy to me that hip hop has lowered its standards based on this generation. That overall, it is a competitive sport. And even though you might have not had <laughs> that talent to go up against Eminem, you could have at least tried, but you didn't. You want to know why? Because you are afraid of the white man, and you fucking know it. Deep down in your heart, you know it. The only motherfucker that rose up to the occasion was another white man. That's it. And you talk shit about him, but he was man enough to say something when your black ass didn't. Because all we do is talk, 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 talk. Jeffrey Owens. Whew. Starred in the Bill Cosby show. Someone took a picture of him at Trader Joe's and Fox News aired it. Now, I have no problem with people that work. When times get hard, with me, I got to take my black ass to work. It's been years that I haven't had a job, but things haven't worked out right for me, you know, recently. So I know, you know what, I may have to clock in for a couple months, stack my money, quit, and then invest in a product, or rather invest in myself, and go from there. And that's the right way of doing things. You see, that's the true pride, the true dignity, the true honor that you're supposed to have. You work in order that you can build to have your own business. And I know I'm gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings. And I know a lot of people are, dis, are, are going to disagree. But there is no honor, dignity, and respect in working 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 fucking years for somebody else. You wanna know why? Because while I'm passing down a business that I created to my children so they won't have to work, you'll be passing down an application for a job to your children. Where's the pride? Where's the dignity? Where's the honor? Where's the respect? And that. Instead of gossiping, talking, 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 mind your own business. Literally, create your business and mind it so that you can pass down that, that business from one generation to the next, to the next, to the next. Colin Kaepernick and Nike. All of a sudden, Colin Kaepernick is the face of this new campaign that Nike has put out. Those with a little, 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 little bit of business knowledge would understand that that, that what Nike did was the biggest marketing scheme that you can ever motherfucking pull. You see, they got minorities going ape shit. You should see black people in Foot Locker and the Nike outlets. I mean, Nick Cannon bought up a bunch of fucking Nike socks and gave them to the homeless. Hell, you got white people protesting. They're burning their own fucking Nike products that they paid with their, their hard-earned money. Shit, hell, you got some white people that are actually going out to buy Nike sneakers to burn them. 
So while the masses are going ape shit, Nike is laughing all the way to the bank. Nike don't give a fuck about black people. And neither about the black plight. Think about it. Where were you at, Nike? From the early 80s up into 2018. Black kids all around the motherfucking world have been killing other black kids for Jordans since the early 90s. I mean, pop, pop. And as they lay dead on the fucking street bleeding, black kids taking their Jordans off, their sneakers. And you know what you did? All you did was just raise the price and raise the price and raise the price. It's ridiculous the amount you charge for a fucking sneaker these days. Jordan sneakers. Knowing that you have blood stained on your fucking hands like the play Macbeth. You don't give a fuck about black people. And it's crazy to me. Let me think of a, another shit business that was able to capitalize off of a black man's death or black people's death, plural. I got one. Trayvon Martin. When Trayvon Martin died, champion hoodies, uh, Skittles, and I forgot that particular tea that he had purchased. All three of those products sold out. Those three companies made so much money off of the death of a black child till it was ridiculous. And it's crazy to me that years later, when we find out that we've been played by Nike and all of these companies that we helped make Billions of dollars for. All we going to do is talk, 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 talk. And that is it. That is it. That's all we're going to do. <laughs> Did you hear about Aretha Franklin? Did you see a funeral? She had a hundred pink Cadillacs in front of the fucking church. Well, we all know who made money. Did you hear Fantasia and Jennifer Hudson sing? Well, we all know that the only motherfucking thing that black people, well, things that black people are good for, one of them being singing their hearts out at a funeral. That is it. It makes no sense to me. While we're gossiping, talking, running our fucking mouths, A Dallas cop, a female Dallas cop, walks into the wrong apartment, shoots and kills a black man, and then says, I thought it was my apartment and he was breaking into my shit. And it's crazy because I'm thinking, I'm using my intellectual Mine, my intelligence. And I'm saying to myself, okay, so when you walked inside the apartment, you mean to tell me he had the same furniture? His apartment was decorated the same way yours was? No. You meant to shoot and kill him. You lying ass bitch. And guess what's going to happen? She's going to get away with it. And all we going to do is hashtag. All we gonna do is talk, talk, talk. That's it. I am done with this bullshit. I am done with this black community, black power, black whatever the fuck. I'm done with it. My master teacher is and will always be Dr. Sebi. I am on health. I'm about living. I am going to change this channel. 
And I don't give a fuck how many motherfuckers unsubscribe. Doesn't make no difference to me. You niggas, unsubscribe. I don't care. I don't have nothing to lose because I haven't gained anything. I got bags under my eyes. I stay up all night doing these fucking videos. Where you been, Langston? I've been fucking recovering. I've been fucking trying to gain some fucking sleep because I've been trying to save a race of fucking people that don't want to be saved. And I'm done with it. I want to live. So, for those that are left, know that this is the death of Langston 2092. There will be a new one. There will be a resurrection. And I will talk about life living positive shit instead of gossip. Because that's all you niggas want to hear. And I'm going to stop talking about it. Because I want to live. My name is Langston, 2092.